I had this idea about uh, creating an event which linked food to environmental issues. The contest at Copenhagen, COP15, the, sum the climate summit, the UN climate summit. So I had this idea because I was uh, I still I'm one of the organizers of this um, uh, food festival, Copenhagen Cooking. So I wanted to come up with an idea that linked these uh, two issues. And that's when, uh, again, I went to sleep and I woke up f after f for maybe thinking for a month or so. And it was, uh, what we should do, we should invite professors, we should invite big thinkers, chefs from all over the world. So it was extremely complicated. And after an app, I said, no, this is simple. This is cook it raw. This is cook it clean. And raw as a tool to interpret nature, as a meditation on nature, and at the same time, a way for the chefs to interpret what could be the future in gastronomy. Raw is a positive thinking, is is thinking about nature in a positive way, is to link your soul to what you do in a way, to link your soul in the creation of a dish. So in a way it is a narrow because it is about food, it is about how these chefs are looking at food because we invited so many chefs, we invited 11 chefs actually, a Noma, in order to interpret a thought. It's just a thought, you know? Is a thought that could work? Is a thought that uh, could make a difference? Can we plant in people's mind and see? Oh, raw winter was hard, we call it. Because the raw, every time, will develop into a new concept, in a way. It will never be st static. It's, the dynamics are so great. Are so great because the concept will always be simple. And uh, I just want to, to protect it, just to be as pure as possible because you really, really can do something so good, so good, but you have to nourish it, you have to nurture, you have to really make sure that this will grow in a proper way. I really hope that the sponsor will understand this message. I mean, us, organizer, we can just uh, throw good parties and uh, bring people from all over the world, like you, like others, the journalists, but at the end of the day, is to be about the purity of, of, of a thought. And this, because of course it's a competition amongst the guy. It's about who's doing the best dish, who's most, doing the most creative dish. But at the same time, they're working together. My idea is that the, the cook it raw, the chefs gathering, will hopefully open the eyes of the people who say, Fuck it, let's go back to fucking basic. And let's just enjoy what we do. Let's enjoy food because this is at the end of the day what it is. Because if you go to the market, you remember when to the Venice market, you go there, you pick a couple of things, you taste, you say, oh, no, but maybe tomorrow I can taste something else. And it's fun, you know. You can teach your kids to do that, you can teach your neighbor to do that. Without, and I mean, and you save a little energy. If what you think, if. 200 million people save a, just a little bit of energy and by having fun on top of everything, you know, so that this is why it's the great thing about it. So at the end of the day, it's a very basic message. I would love to share it with the millions of people, but unfortunately it wouldn't work, you know, so it has to be like a small, tiny group of people that become friends, you know, that they share things together, they share a thought, they share wine, they share the waking up bloody early in the morning, the grumpiness, but at the end of the day, they drink well, they eat well, they share some quality time together, and this is start to plant into it. So tomorrow you're going to see your friends and you say, cooking was great, why was great? I mean, we were just by being together, you know, that's point number one. We discovered some things, we ate in a certain way, it was extremely creative, but it gave us something, you know? So, in a way, this special guest, they could be the testimonial of something, so it could spread. You could have your own cookie raw, for God's sake, in a few years, inviting somebody in your home and say, why, look, let's do it like this, you know? So, this is why I think it has to be developed in this way, it has to be protected. What they say to me is about cookie raw, 
And I always say, and this is why the guy is sat down here tonight, because it's about dialogue. It's about you communicate how, how you learn about each other, how you, how you learn about um, uh, being together. It's about communicating, it's about talking, for God's sake, you know. So now culture, they have to talk. And what's better than, than food issues? They can lead to, to so many things. But still, it's focused on one thing. There's a group of plenty of chefs cooking it raw, using raw, expressing the meaning of raw, which has different meanings, like we mentioned before, and doing something good, real good, you know? Because, I mean, this guy, for God's sake, they're coming from all over the world, they talk to each other sometime, and sometimes they meet, sometimes they're not. But, I mean, when they come here, you see them sitting down, they just... You feel like, I mean, we all live together in a big house, you know? That's right. <laughs> and it's amazing. You see how all the people, I mean, you feel that tomorrow, like, it's just, it's crazy. You go down, you have a little chat with one guy, with another guy, you go to Slovenia, you suck a little bear from the straw, and you don't even mind it anymore. So, at the end of the day, what, what it will count, and this is what I strongly believe, it will be the entire experience. I mean, these are chefs, they're professional chefs, they're geniuses, you know, that they, they, in their, in their cultures, in their way of thinking, they, they really develop a lot. You will remember this, believe me. So let's just give it for granted, you know, and just get on with it, you know. <laughs> Share it. <laughs> That's right.